hello there. Sharon Horn Elstrom here, Pajama Grandma. If we haven't met yet, go ahead and put hashtag pajama in the comments below, and then I'll know it's the first time you're hearing my voice or seeing my face, so I can go ahead and introduce myself properly. Today is day 169 of the Daily Scare Share. I'm doing One Thing a Day That Scares Me from the book, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. It's just a little book I picked up at the cabin okay, four years ago for a friend of mine and I when we were getting involved in a new business. Did it for about a week and a half, and then of course, life got busy, life got in the way, as it always does, and we quit doing it. So my daughter this year pointed out to me, she found it on one of my bookshelves in my house as we're getting ready to move, and said, hmm, cool book, Mom, which is code for, hey lady, you're living in a rut, maybe you should do something about it. I got the hint and decided that I would do something about it. So today is day 169. You can see I've been doing it every day, writing in it. And to hold myself accountable, I've actually been doing a Facebook Live about it every single day. Well, today is one of those blank line days, the dreaded blank line days. But I'm starting to look at them with a little bit more excitement because it allows me to do whatever I want and think about whatever I want with respect to stretching my comfort zone and moving me toward what it is that I want, whatever my goal is that I happen to be working on. So even though it's a blank line day, I've already written in it, because the first thing I did, of course, when I have a blank line day, is I go to my handy dandy book from my grandfather, 5,000 quotations. And today's um, prompt was, today I did not capitulate. Well, of course, I tried to look up the word capitulate in this little book, and there's nothing about capitulation in here. I don't know, maybe that's a, a newer term than when this book was written. I doubt it, it's a pretty old word, but there was nothing in there. So then I went to, since I used my card decks yesterday, I thought, I don't wanna do that two days in a row. What else do I have handy? So I grabbed another book. This book is called Manifest Your Dreams by Esther and Jerry Hicks, The Teachings of Abraham. And um, it might be a little woo-woo for a lot of people, but following my sudden cardiac arrest, I got into a lot of woo-woo stuff, and I did a lot of research and studying about life and universal laws and how the world really works, because I've always wondered my whole life, how does the world really work, and how come we don't know some of this stuff coming in? How come we don't get exposed to how the world really works when we're kids? And it's mostly because nobody else knows either. Our parents don't know and so they don't know to teach us. Our school systems and the government don't want us to know so they don't teach us. So it's up to each of us individually to go on our, our own journey for knowledge and education based on where our interests take us and, and what we want to learn about and what we want to develop in ourselves. So anyway, I went to this and I went to one of the pages in here and I was excited because I found a really good graphic for the emotional scale because I want to talk about that in one of my Facebook groups today. I want to do a quick thing about the emotional scale and how you can make yourself feel better at any time because a lot of us get stressed out and we need to feel better. So anyway, I went to page 184 or day 184 in here and this is what I found. And most important, you now remember that well-being is the basis of your world and that unless you are doing something that is disallowing it, then well-being is your experience. You may allow it or resist it, but only a stream of wellness, abundance, clarity, and all good things that you desire flows. So I decided today I am gonna to capitulate to my stream of well-being. I am going to stop blocking well-being and abundance and happiness and joy and love and all the good things that we are all naturally and automatically entitled to in this universe if we just allow them to flow in our life. So I decided today I'm going to let the well-being flow and I'm just going to go with the flow of well-being today and see what happens. I'm going to recommend that you do the same thing. What if we all just let well-being flow in our lives? What would our lives be like? I'm not sure because I'm always blocking mine, but I'm going to just let my well-being flow today and see how I feel. Go out and make it an awesome day. I'll see you tomorrow with day 170 of the Daily Scare Share. Bye. Don't be scared.